Um, this is a marzipan cake, guys. It's so hefty, big, and look at all the lamb meat. Oh. So my friends, what is up and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Alan 28 years I'm from Germany and today it's time for a new cheat day. Full day of cheating, no challenge, just enjoy whatever I want to eat. And yes, it's early in the morning, it's about 8.40 right now. And I was at four different bakeries for my breakfast, guys. This was the last item that I really want to get. So I hope you all are fine. Welcome to the video and I hope you will enjoy it. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's all about food. Definitely nothing about health and fitness today, just to let you know. And yeah, my team for today, just German food. I got over, I think, 10 or more videos, only mostly about German bakery items. So this time I tried to get some items that I never had in a video. And, and I think this is what I want to do for the whole day. So Germany don't have only sauerkraut, bratwurst, uh, pretzels, just to let you know. In Germany we have a lot more stuff and not only soups or something but you will see all my favorites and especially more items that you never saw on my videos and if you want to be the first behind the scenes and always with some sneak peeks guys follow me on Instagram be safe Saturday it's beautiful it's almost 20 degrees Celsius outside and yeah and you know me guys I love my knoppers and in Germany Everybody knows we eat our knoppers at 9.30. It's more a commercial thing. The wafer with all the delicious layers, chocolate, hazelnut, milk cream filling. Ah. Oh wow. <laughs> Perfect chocolatey start. Oh my God, I love it so much. Guys, you have to try knoppers. Mm. This is the already prepared granola with yogurt in a cup. Just plain yogurt. I don't know if this will be good, but let's try out the yogurt first plain. Yeah, it's not it's not that sweet. I hope the granola will make it better because like so. Oh yeah. There you can see it. Oh, it looks amazing. I wish it will be a fruity yogurt type of, but anyways, I love me some cereals or granola in the morning, just perfect to start the day with some healthy yogurt. Let's see. Okay. Mmm. The granola is so amazing. Oh. Oh, wow. But the yogurt is definitely too sour. Mm. Not bad. Yeah. The moment when you're at the parking lot from the bakery and Aldi and everybody is looking at you. <laughs> And yeah, this time I tried to change it up with something that I never had and also some of my favorites. From the bakery Brinker, it's like a burdick stick, but it's filled with potatoes. So like, I hope like uh, Bosnian Krompirusha. So Darko, this is to you and all my Bosnian people, all my Yugo peeps. I love you all. This is to you guys. Let's see, first bite of the savory item because yeah, I need something savory. Yo, it's oily, delicious, like filo dough, supposed to be. Wow, I'm impressed, this is amazing. Mm. And it tastes really close to Krompirusha. Mmm. So the next item, also something that I never had, guys. 
it's a Berliner but it's apple filled and it looks different than to the normal ball one so let's see this is from the bakery uh, Middleburg mm. the filling tastes amazing wow but way too shy mmm wow but the dough with the sugar on top mm. and we also have a drink for sure we need some milk with us and this is a pineapple coconut flavored buttermilk never had this before let's see oh it smells coconutty Mmm. Oh. Roxy, greetings to you. Go to Aldi and try this out. And love me later. Look at the Streuselkuchen, guys. The Strusel cake. The German Strusel cake. I love this so much, but I never had them on my videos. And I don't know why. It's basically like a streusel taler that I show you often now but in a cake version and the top part trust me it's so sugary and the texture ah oh. mmm oh wow I can already feel the sugar mmm Next item, the Teestange, like a croissant layer pastry guys, a lot of chopped up almonds and all the sugar glaze on top and it's also filled with a lot of marzipan. This is also to you Julia, so you want the tea stick, you want the Teestange, here we have them, cheers. Yo! Wow! It looks amazing and it tastes amazing. Let's go with this heavy bad boy right here. Look at the beauty. It's a pudding plunder. So it's a Danish filled with vanilla pudding or custard, whipped cream and strawberries on top. Yo. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. Look at all the pudding with the whipped cream. This is so far my favorite. So refreshing with the strawberries. Holy. Oh baby. This was so sugary but so amazing. Okay guys, I have to change the ankle because of the sun. Anyways, the next item is again something savory. And here we got the Frikadellenbrötchen. Frikadelle is the meatball, this time with chicken. Normally, I think the traditional one is with pork and beef. And it comes with lettuce and mustard or tartar sauce. But I'm not a fan of mustard, I'm not a fan of tartar sauce, and also not a fan of lettuce. So I just go with the chicken one with ketchup and mayo on a Kaiser roll. Oh, let's dig in. Oh. Mmm. And the flavor. And Germans love the frikadelle. It's so amazing. Mm. It's a traditional northern German type of bakery item, like a croissant dough, and stuffed with a lot of cinnamon and sugar. 
And you know how much I love my cinnamon, my friends. So the first time that I had this from a traditional bakery. Velman is coming through a uh, bakery in my area. So let's try it out. I think my face said everything. Oh wow. This is loaded with, sh with cinnamon sugar. You can see the filling. And it's so moist. And uh, oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> if you want to see the sneak peeks first, just like I said, follow me on Instagram. Just look at all the sugar and cinnamon. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And after that, it's time for the gym. And then we will see us with the second round at home. And later on, also in the city. Damn, with all the setup and everything. It took me like an hour. That is crazy. But I enjoyed. Mm. I will be back, well, man. Oh. Man, it's getting hot in here. So, my friends, stay tuned for round number two. Time for round number two, my friends. It's 1 9 p.m. And the German bakery items for beginning are being amazing, but right now it's time for a lot more German things. And guys, just like I said, I cannot show you every single German dish, but I want to show you one of my favorites. But just to let you know, we got three sides. I will come to everything when I try them. Then we got a calf schnitzel. So it's not your pork schnitzel, it's a calf one, it's, yeah, I think this is the traditional one and it's a big one, about 300 grams. I cannot wait to dig in. Then we got a lot of German snacks, one of my favorite German uh, chocolate bars. We got a marzipan cake and some German cookies. And yeah, so let's stop talking guys, let's start eating, let's throw out strictly the Spätzle because I love them so much. These are so delicious eggy noodles. Let's see guys. Yo. Oh wow. Oh wow. They are so good. Pan fried with the egg and the different spices. Mmm. Let's try out the home fries guys, so these are Bratkartoffeln and also in Germany you got some more variations with rosemary flavor, also with bacon and onions, but these are just with onion, eggs and some other spices, yeah, because of the bacon. Anyways, let's see. Mmm, and these are my favorite potato, this is my favorite potato dish. I love to eat Bratkartoffeln with the calf schnitzel. Oh, the Bratkartoffeln are so good. Wow. So, let's dig in. Good job. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is so good, my friends. I love me some schnitzel or katsu. Oh, wow. brown gravy and I will put this also a bit on the schnitzel a bit on the potatoes just to change up the flavor and also on the maultaschen maultaschen too mmm all the gravy is amazing 
Wow, the small touch are amazing, the filling. Let's try out the schnitzel with the gravy. Mmm. With ketchup. This is really like German soul food in my opinion. And this is what I love from German food. Don't forget to let me know what was your favorite today. And if you have some German favorites also. Mm. I must say the home fries and the schnitzel are my favorites from this dish. Oh yeah. And this gravy. Oh my. I'm actually not so much into German foods or dishes, but this is something that I really love. To change up the flavor a bit. And here we got Hanuta, guys. Hanuta is actually Ferrero, but this is something that you can get only in Germany. Hanuta and the Hanuta bar, or also the Duplo. It's also Ferrero, but when I was in Italy, I never saw something from Hanuta or Duplo. This is to my bro Ahmed. I know how much you love it, bro. And me too. Just a crispy, delicious wafer filled with an amazing cookies and cream filling. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I love me some wafers. And here we also have the Duplo one. In Germany we say the longest praline of the world. So, the längste praline der Welt. Um, again, the wafer texture. Oh yeah. I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I need after all the savory items. Oh wow, this goes to my bro, Darko, live life, I love pickup, and I, hope, and I know exactly how much you love the pickup as well, and this is the winter edition, cinnamon apple flavor from Leibniz, a German brand, let's dig in to some milk, mmm, It's so good with milk, no joke, because the biscuit cookie part soaks it up just perfect. You know, I love the, the butter cookie. And with the apple cinnamon flavor, oh wow. I still have my headphones in. Oh my god, I totally forget. And for sure guys. Germany, we need some Milka, and here we got the Milka Waffelini, and you know how much I love my Milka guys, if you're an older subscriber then you definitely knew it, for texture in the middle, ah, with the delicious Milka chocolate outside, mm. and just perfect for dipping. So, these are Balsen, German brand and famous for the Christmas items as well. These are apple cinnamon cookies. So let's see, shaped like a heart. Mmm. When I like something the most, definitely German treats. Candies, chocolates, and bakery items, the most of everything here in Germany. And here we got the Ferdi Fox Geflügel sausages. Guys. And this is just yeah, more like processed meat, sausage, like that. Mm. Some gravy. 
No. Strictly childhood memories. Next item, the Hanuta bar. The Hanuta bar on the outside, you got the hazelnut. And like the sandwich edition, also delicious wafer filling, hazelnut cream filling, and it tastes almost like Nutella. With some milk cream and wafer. Um, I prefer the bar version over the sandwich. Exactly the same thing with the knoppers that I had so often in my videos. In combination, like Ferrero, Rocher with wafers, with a lot of milk cream and wafers. Mm. Let's come to my all-time favorite chocolate bar, the Knoppers one. This is the OG one, we also have right now the peanut version and coconut version. Coconut definitely my favorite. We have so many layers of goodness, milk cream filling, caramel filling, the wafers. Oh wow, trust me guys, you got to try this out. Hands down, the best. Mm -hmm. and this is a marzipan cake guys a lot of cream filling then also the yellow cake part the crust yeah, it's a little bit broken anyways and all the marzipan on top and at the back so whipped cream trust me I think every every German know this cake It's definitely one of our favorites. Mmm. Oh yeah. So good, no joke. I just all always when I was always on birthdays. Oh. It was a satisfying meal. We will see us with the next round. Maybe in the German fast food restaurant with a friend. But yeah, stay tuned guys, stay tuned for that. Ah, oh, that was delicious. So my friends, finally it's time for the next round. And yes, I'm in the city with a good friend. And yes, first I was at Nordsee, so Nordsee, it's a German chain for fish and chips. But they're closed because of what is going on in the world. Yeah, it sucks, but it's what it is. And then I was in a German chain for Bratwurst, but they only sell um, pork. So I decided to go with a staple in Germany with a döner kebab. And if you don't know, guys, kebab is from Turkey, but the döner kebab was invented from a Turkish guy in Germany. So it's also really German, and you can get a döner kebab really on every single corner here in Germany, especially in the city. But normally it comes with a lot of lettuce or veggies and tzatziki sauce. But yeah, I'm not a fan. Trust me, try it with the cocktail sauce and you will see it's amazing and it's look at this bad boy. It's so hefty big and look at all the lamb meat. Oh my god and the homemade bread. I cannot wait to try it out. So we go with the Duna from McDuna guys. Yeah. So shout out to the restaurant. It looks amazing. Let's try out the meat. Delicious fatty kebab meat just like I love it bro probably my splash so geil ohne scheiß it's a big sandwich you can see it it's almost big like my head mm. spicy creamy cocktail sauce just how I love my dinner kebab and the meat is amazing. Hey bro, can you give me a few servietten, please? Da rechts. Nimm ruhig ein paar mehr. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. 
Look at this meat mountain. No joke, this thing is so heavy and packed. Let's enjoy this, my friends. Das wie fettig, ne? Aber sehr ehrlich. Hm? Guys, look at the layers. <laughs> like art. Oh wow. So, and after the dinner kebab, it's time for the last stop for this cheat day. And it's definitely going to be something that is sweet. To show the time, it's almost 5 p.m. Just for the non-believers. It's always, it's always better to eat your food with good company, right? <laughs> All right, motherfucker. Last piece. Mm -mm -mm. So we see out with the last round. So my friends, it's time for the last round, and I'm here with Christian. And yeah, maybe you can see it. We are at Wonder Waffle. And Wonder Waffle is an amazing spot for ice cream and for sure waffles. You can create your own uh, waffle just with any kind of toppings. It's super crazy and delicious. And yeah, I think this is the perfect spot to end the cheat day, right? Yes. So let's create our own waffle with some ice cream and, and enjoy the night, my friends. Let's gonna enjoy. And Umar, big greetings to you, my bro. Love you. Guys, you saw the waffle, you saw the amazing creation, and we got strawberries, mangoes, white chocolate, Smarties, coconut, sprinkles, strawberry sauce, and bubblegum ice cream. It looks amazing, and just because of the Gema music, I cannot speak. Christian, enjoy his waffle, and what do you think? Damn good. Damn good, my friends. Wonder waffle in Osnabrück, my friends. So, first bite. Waffle is amazing, no joke. All the flavors from the strawberry mango with the coconut, white chocolate ice, uh, white chocolate sauce and also the strawberry. Yeah, amazing job. And thank you so much, Wonder Waffle. And also the ice cream, bubblegum ice cream. Holy. <laughs> Bro, es, es un clase clase. <laughs> just look at all the filling, my friends. It's just packed and loaded. What a beauty. Guys, and don't forget, <laughs> after, don't forget after that video,
go and watch my Wonder Waffle challenge. Last bite. Donezo. So this is the end of the video. I have to call it a quit. I ate a lot, but we have to end it outside because of the music. Anyways, Chris, and I hope you enjoyed the day. This was a nice day. Definitely. My friends. We see us in the next one. Stay tuned for that. Till we eat again. And always, guys, this was nothing about health and fitness. <laughs> this was only just for enjoying myself. And yeah, I hope you like the foods. Germany got a lot of amazing foods. So if you're in Germany, don't forget, go to Wonderwaffel. Umar, greetings to you. And yes, we see us. Peace out. Bye.